Welcome back friends and thank you for being here today. Today's video was actually supposed to be my summer living room decorate with me but I'm still waiting for something to come in the mail before I can completely finish that video. So while we're waiting for that we're just going to skip ahead a little and instead today we're going to be decorating the rest of the kitchen and then also our little kitchen eating nook for summer. Um, so I'm going to bring you along for that. I'm also going to give you a little haul of the pieces that I'm going to be using in there and then I also want to share with you some summer garden updates. Um, just like a huge update of our big summer garden and how it is looking so far because I know a few of you said you wanted to see that and then I also am going to bring you all along to the farmer's market with me and we're going to pick out a few things um, and then I also have some packages that I need to actually have a lot of packages that I need to get wrapped up today um, to be shipped from the vintage shop so I'm going to be sharing all of that with you in this little vlog today I hope that you enjoy coming along we're going to do uh, probably the garden update first and then once we get back from the farmer's market and all of that then we will start decorating <music> Here's a look at our summer 2023 garden. So we have a whole row of peppers right here. All different types. I think we have um, green bell peppers, jalapenos, mixed bell peppers, cayenne peppers, banana peppers, just a ton of different varieties. Um, and then starts our tomatoes, which is our favorite thing to grow and um, what we do the most with so we have lots of different varieties everything from Cherokee purple to chocolate cherry we have lemon boys better boys Amish paste Rutgers um, Romas it is not perfect it is just a simple basic just trying to use um, the land right here that we have to work with the best that we can to grow as much food as we can this summer out of this space. Once we one day have our own home and all that, it will be much more beautiful and um, designed more aesthetically pleasing, but just for now, um, like I said, using this space we have right here for the garden as best as we can to get the most food out of it. Um, we also have some sun sugar, little cherry tomatoes. Those are really good. Just lots of different fun varieties. Some we've never grown before. Some we love every year um, that are staples and then some that we're excited to try out. I'm going to be canning. I'm also going to be selling at the farmer's market. So we're excited to have all these different varieties. This little sweet banana pepper here actually already has a little pepper on it, which is so exciting and several flowers so making good progress we also already have little squash on all of our squash plants and then down here are our two rows of onions we have one row of yellow onions and one row of red onions and then over here is our two rows of our potato plants So that is it for the 2023 garden tour so far. I will keep track of it and share with you all the progress along the way. Also, when it comes time to can, I do wanna do more canning videos this year and share with you just some of the stuff that I'm gonna make with some of our fresh produce. So um, stay tuned for that. And now we're gonna to head to the farmer's market. I wanna get some homegrown strawberries that they have there. Jamison's incredible homegrown strawberries so I'm gonna have a little snack and then we're gonna get started on decorating this little corner for the fourth Okay, now I'm gonna share with you all a few pieces I'm gonna use in the kitchen today. It's a little mini thrift haul of some things I found recently that I'm gonna be using to add into my summer decor in there. The first piece is just for regular all year round, but I did find it recently and I'm gonna use it in there. It is this 
gorgeous ironstone teapot i just love teapots so much i think there's just something so precious about them so i have several of them throughout the house i also have a few of them listed um in the vintage shop and i always have that linked down below but anyway i just love these little teapots and this one we found at a little store called grandma's attic it's a super fun little place to look through and it was 750 in there I just really love this one because of all of the really pretty details on it and then the stamp on the bottom it says Johnson Brothers England I shared this plate in a recent thrift haul but I'm gonna be using this in there as well it is just another little Johnson Brothers England dish and I love the colors in it so I was thinking I might kind of just set the teapot on this and let those colors show through something like that maybe the next thing that I found are these adorable little um, strawberry dishes again to go along with the strawberries and they have these little lids and there was actually two of them so I got both of them and they're little McCoy jelly jars and I thought they were just so cute for summer it would be adorable to make a, like a little candle to go in here um, I don't have any of this stuff to do that with but I think it would be such a cute little candle and you would have your lid for it um, you could also use it for just a little sugar jar um, there's lots of cute ideas but I think I'm just gonna stick some greenery and a flag in one of these um, and use it in my summer decor and then the last pieces I have I'm gonna be using today in the kitchen um, are part of this set of blue and white dishes that my husband found on Facebook marketplace I haven't shared these in a haul yet but we found them um, I think it's been like two months ago now on Facebook marketplace for a really good deal he bought just the whole box of them all in one lot it came with so many different dishes um, and I plan to use them all in the dining room on that hutch not only just for summer but also I'm just gonna leave this set of dishes on them all year round it looks so pretty in there the blue really complements um, or the blue and white dishes just really complement the blue hutch so well I think it looks so pretty in there so I'll be sharing with you all what those look like on that hutch soon um, I'm kind of just saving it for my my summer home tour and then I'll share a whole look at that room and how I have it decorated for summer these are two of the dishes that came in that set that I have on that hutch and I'm gonna use two of these since there were extra ones on the little kitchen nook table and I will um, insert the name of what these are called on the screen I forgot the exact name of them and then I'm also gonna use the cute little salt and pepper shakers that match the set on the table in the kitchen just to add a very um, simple little pop of blue in that area. Here's a look at what I'm gonna be using in the kitchen and eating nook area. So I'm gonna start by removing everything out of this corner and wiping it all down good. It had been a while since I moved that tray, so I wanted to get that out and wipe all around it and wipe the tray and the lamp down. And then we are gonna start adding in all of the decorative pieces. I'm gonna add my crock back on there, my vintage scale that I always have out here. And then I wanted to use these little McCoy jelly jars in this space, but I only ended up using one. Um, so I just put some greenery and a little flag in there along with this ironstone bowl of strawberries. And then once these strawberries are gone, I'm just gonna take the teapot and set it on that plate to fill that spot. But for now, while we have the fresh strawberries, I'm gonna leave those out because I think they are just gorgeous for summer. I love the pop of color and they look so inviting just out on the counter. Um, and then I'll stick the little teapot in front of those cutting boards for now and moving on to this little table I'm gonna wipe it down and then I'm gonna use this crock I recently found this crock at a yard sale I shared it in one of my previous videos and I had these white hydrangeas in it already and I thought it would be so pretty to add my blue hydrangeas that I got from Walmart a few years ago into this crock with these and have it as the centerpiece on this table for summer. I think it looks so bright and fresh. And then I'm gonna add these plates on the table and the salt and pepper shakers for just a very simple and minimal summer look in here.
Okay, it's a little bit later now and it's time to get started on wrapping up these packages. That's another reason I love keeping this space very minimal right now so I can easily move off the centerpiece and the plates and have this table as a workspace to hold all the items that I'm going to be shipping out. I like to see everything in front of me and keep it organized over here. So these are all the items that I've sold and then over here on the counter, this is all the items that I still have available. So I still have um, some patriotic bundles of books available. I still have some soup terrines, some teapots. These blue plates have sold as of now. They're on their way to their new home, but I wanted to share a look at some of the other items that are still available and lots more that I am continuing to add daily. Um, but thank you all so much again for all of your support. I'm literally blown away. Um, every time I get a notification that something has sold, it just warms my heart and I cannot believe it so thank you um, but we're gonna get all of these packaged up and I think there was a total of 25 on this day and then I woke up to a few more so I got those wrapped up and got them all in the car um, and on their way to their new homes After getting all the items wrapped up and packaged, then I added on all of the labels. I didn't film that part because I didn't want to show anyone's address and right here I flipped the boxes over so the labels would be hidden. Um, but one day I would love to invest in much prettier boxes and packaging. That's definitely a goal, but for right now I'm just using what works. And that is everything that I loaded up and shipped out this day. Thank you again so so much for all of your orders.
thank you all for taking the time to be here with me today. I hope that you enjoyed decorating with me and getting a little summer garden update and just hanging out with me for a little bit. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. My next video is going to be my big summer decorate with me where we decorate the whole living room. So stay tuned for that and I will see you all next time.